When the remake series was first announced, people were expecting a one-to-one -one copy of the original. That didn't happen. But what we got instead opened the door for many new possibilities for all our beloved characters, like Aerith, who might not die this time, Biggs, who actually survived, and Sephiroth, who has knowledge from his previous lifetime. Aerith does as well, actually. Now, all these changes are sure to lead the story down some unexpected new paths as we approach Rebirth, the next main game in the series. And if the Yuffie DLC taught us anything, it's that anything can and will happen from here on out. While I'm sure our characters will loosely follow the path of the original, too much has already happened for the game to end the same way as before. Especially with the addition of the Whispers, and especially since we've been introduced to villains like Nero and Vice, who didn't show up later until several games into the series. Their early addition will spell out numerous changes from here on out. Changes that gives the developers a wider window to expand on storylines that were never quite fleshed out before. So this all begs the question, will Sephiroth remain the final boss of the remake series, or will our protagonist be so focused on stopping the infamous one-winged angel that other villains are able to run around unchecked? Because in the original, Vice and Nero didn't really enact their plans until after the game was done in the underrated PS2 title Church of Cerberus. But with them appearing in the recent DLC, it seems only logical that their plans will now be moving at a much faster rate. So, could they ultimately be the final antagonists of the remake series? And what about Genesis? After all, he never really dies in Crisis Core, despite Zack defeating him several times in battle. His body had begun its degradation, but he never quite succumbed to it. And actually, he was saved by two deep ground soldiers. None other than Nero the Sable, and Vice the Immaculate. Now, this plot thread seemed to be almost forgotten, save for a secret ending in Dirge of Cerberus, where Genesis is revealed to have been in slumber for quite some time. But now, with the Final Fantasy VII series being completely revitalized, they have a new avenue to bring this character back. And I don't know about you, but I would love to see Genesis have a rematch with Sephiroth. And this also begs the question, with Genesis' survival, whose side would he end up being on anyways? Would he side with the villainous, Vice and Nero, or would he fight to reclaim his honor as a soldier? After all, when Zack defeated him for the last time, Genesis appeared to realize he wasn't the hero of his story after all. So, would he return to the side of good? To the side of Cloud, Zack, and company? It's, it's pretty hard to know. But now that Zack is alive, in some way, shape, or form, we could potentially see a scene where the two are reunited. I would really love to see how that encounter plays out. What about you, though? Who do you think will ultimately be the final antagonist? And what role will Genesis, Nero, and Vice play in the future of the remake series? Could we see them side with Sephiroth, or perhaps stand against him? And what of Genova? Will she be fleshed out more throughout the series? Or will they leave her alien origins mostly a mystery like it was in the original? Either way, feel free to leave all your theories down below. Maybe hit those like and subscribe buttons while you're at it. But most importantly, have yourself a great day. May your heart be your guiding key, my friends. And happy gaming.